Welcome back, it's Phoenix Stables here, and today I'm going to be showing you my finished barn tour for August 2023. This was kind of a midsummer barn makeover, so I'll link it above. Um, I just really wanted to change the layout, and I'm really hoping to have this for a long time because I really, really like it. So anyway, let's get into it. So we are going to start at the front of the barn here, and so over in this little corner we just have... Um, our little barn bunny and his name is Snowball and then we also have Leo and he is a um, oh my god I literally always mess up his braid jeez um, he's a Pekingese and so they're just kind of hanging out over here and then we also just have this little um, like I'm pretty sure this is filled with halters or something it's either halters or it's just kind of like there um, and then we have some carrots and um, some vegetables in here, um, and I just keep it on this side. And then hanging on one of these little, like, poles, tie-up areas, we have another little halter over here. So heading to the other side, we have Pip, and she is a little chick here at the barn. And then we have our two kittens, so this is... Well, there's three, but I don't know what happens to the other one, so, um, anyway, um, this is Oreo, and then that's Pumpkin, and they are just kind of playing around here. I'm not exactly sure where their mother is, so she needs to get over here. Um, and then we just have some buckets on the hay bales, and then, of course, a basket of apples for the ponies. And then on both sides, we just have these little, like, flower, um, boxes. Um, okay, so then heading to the left side, we have our mare's pasture. So this just, of course, has some halters out front, and I've just realized I've kind of made this like a gray pasture, but um, it's okay. Um, so, okay, here is Ophelia, and she is my cell France um, mare, and she is so cute. I really needed her out because she hasn't been out in a while, so she is just prancing around with Tempest, who hasn't been out in a while either, and she is my Trackner mare. Um, and she is so pretty, and I kind of forget that I have her, so we're really happy to have Tempest out right now. So as I said, these two are just kind of like playing around out here. And then, of course, we have Pandora, and she loves to keep to herself, so she's just over here eating some apples. Um, don't worry, Pandora will be coming out for more videos. I'm going to get her out more. So anyways, she's just kind of having her own little moment over here. Um, and I really like the shape of these pastures. Um, they, I think they look a lot better now that they're like this because it gives a lot of open space. And then of course on both pastures they do have a little hay trough, apple trough, whatever, food. <laughs> and then peeking out of her stall here we have Sunday and she is my Rocky Mountain mare. Um, and so she is just kind of looking out seeing what's happening. And then going over here, we have the stallion skeldings pasture. So here's Chloe, and she is currently trying to get her new horse. This is Pharaoh, and he's a self Francais stallion. Um, and he doesn't really want to go today, which is, um, of course, why there's a bit of tug in the lead rope. But she she's going to work it out. Um, and then heading over here, we have Raven. And he is my Frisian stallion, also so, so gorgeous. I really need to have him out more. And he is looking out of the pasture along with his buddy. This is Champion, and he is my Hanoverian gelding. Um, and they are just looking out, and they're probably looking at something, um, just kind of seeing what's going around um, at the barn. And yeah, so then there's just some halters here, or one halter. I don't know where the other one went, but... um. Yeah. Okay. So now heading out over here, we have this little bridal way, which I absolutely love. Like, it's actually so nice. And so then we just have my Dalmatian here, and her name is Roxy. And I love her because she adds, like, a realistic vibe because she's lying down, and I love it. And then here we have our English Cream Golden Retriever puppy, and, his, and her name is Olive. Um, so she's hanging out with Roxy. And then there's just this little bowl with a bone in it. Um, and then walking down this little bridal way, we have Maverick, or Mav, 
and um, he is currently being led by Mia and they're going to go tech up for a lesson in a second so they're just walking down here and then heading into the barn this way we have Bella and she is my golden doodle dog and she is just seeing what Megan is doing and she is just mucking out over here this is Aura's stall um, I might take off the roof for this so I hope I don't I'm just gonna hold it okay so, um, Aura just has her halter here, and then her feeding trough and water trough, and she is just looking in through here. She's currently out in her little paddock, which is on the other side. So there's just two paddocks over here. Um, so yeah, and then we just have a little milk bowl and a bowl here, and um, then just a little bucket. And I'm pretty sure that this is... Um, this is Hidalgo's stall, but he's currently not in it, so his pasture is open for him when he gets back. Or not pasture, his little paddock, sorry. Um, and then, of course, feeding trough, hay trough, and then he has a little hay lick in there as well. And then over here, we have, oh my god, we have Lily, and she is, sorry about that, my camera is being finicky. Anyway, here is Lily, and she's going to go get her horse which is Sunday, so she is not really paying attention right now, but she's just going to go get her. And then we have Jordan, and he is just going through this little miscellaneous box. Um, it also has some treats in it, but it's kind of filled with ribbons, medals, halters. It's literally anything. So um, he's just looking around in there for something, and then um, going into this next stall. We have um, Legend, and he is just looking out, seeing what's happening, and he has his halter over here, and then he has a little Himalayan salt lick, um, and then of course his little feeding trough and water trough over there. Um, yeah, so that is everything going on the inside of the barn. Then heading out here, we have just our wash stall and tack up area. I really enjoy doing both of the wash stalls next to each other, so I'm probably going to keep doing that for a lot of my layouts. Um, so over here we just have this little tack stand. Um, it doesn't have any tack in it right now, but um, that's okay. And then we have Winter, and she is an Arabian. And I didn't say Legend's Breed. I always seem to forget that Legend is a Frisian. Um, warm blood cross cross. Um, I know that's not actually his breed. He is a Frisian, but I've made him a Frisian warm blood So anyway back to this so winter she's an Arabian mare and then her owner Parker is just hanging out with her while she gets a little vet check because she has sadly been lame in her left hind leg so um, she's been off riding so maybe Parker is gonna get a new horse in the future along with winter but who knows right and then um, this is Livia she's our veterinarian and she just has her vet kit over here and then we've got two grooming boxes in both of the wash stalls and so this wash stall has already been used this tack up area that is Hidalgo's halter and he is currently in the arena doing a lesson so anyways going into the arena we have James and he is our um, he is one of our instructors here at the barn, and he also owns part of Phoenix Stables, along with Mimi, who is actually looking over this lesson, just seeing what's going on, and she is the owner, main owner of Phoenix Stables, and also does do lessons here and then. Um, so, yeah, and then on both sides, I thought it was really fun in some ways to add, like, a tree and a flower box on both sides, since they're not being used in the arena. Um, yeah, and then out here, we just have a bunch of lunge um, ropes, lunge, oh my god, we just have a bunch of lunging stuff in here, and, um, I'm not gonna try and open this, because y'all know I suck at it, so, uh, okay, going back in is just kind of a little flat, since mini, uh, flat mini jump day, so it's really not that big, it's just kind of a little line, and these horses can definitely do it, so here is Skylar, and she is riding Ocean, and she is a Icelandic mare, and she is so cute, and Ocean has not been out here for a hot minute, so I'm really happy to have her out, and she's doing these raised trap holes, um, and then obviously around to the jumps, um, and then here, standing on the sideline, we have Stephanie, and she is on her new lease, which is Hidalgo, and he is a, um, oh my god, why am I, like, struggling so much with this barn tour? Guys, it's not okay. Um, 
Hidalgo is an Andalusian stallion. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place today. I have to film a whole nother video. So, um, okay, anyways, these two are just hanging out on the sidelines and waiting for Ocean and Skylar to go around. Um, so, yeah, I think that that is the end of this barn tour. All right, everyone, I know this barn tour kind of felt stressed and messy, but um, I really do love this little barn setup that I have going. And um, I'm just stressed out because I have to film like a whole nother thing and I, I really want to get it out to you guys. So um, yeah, anyways, it's been all over the place, but I love this setup and it gives me so much opportunity for filming, especially with my new series coming out. So um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to launch the first episode um, probably towards the end of August or middle of August. We'll see what really happens. Um, but I really want to get it to you guys because I'm so excited. Um, and this little setup now, this layout that I have, I'm in love. And it, again, so many angles for me now since my barn is, you know, faced in both directions. So I can really get all the angles with this. And um, yeah, so stay tuned for more fun content for the rest of summer. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.